hey loves so welcome back to my channel so as you were seeing pre previously or right before this you will see me preparing some potatoes peeling them cutting them up and putting them in some boiling water because I'm going to be making some codfish ball or no call it codfish but salt fish balls right and I'm using a recipe from this Jamaican recipe book that I think most Jamaicans know about it's this green book um, we've had it for years like my, when my mother bought it I think she is either hundred dollars or five hundred dollars she paid for it at the time it's been a long time it's over 20 odd years that we've had this book and I decided the other day why not try to make all of the recipes in the book so that is what I'm going to start doing so the first recipe I'm gonna try out of it is the sawfish balls or codfish balls as it's called in there and that is what I will be preparing today all right loves so the actual recipe calls for half pound of sawfish two cups of raw or diced tomatoes once you cook them one tablespoon of butter half teaspoon of pepper and of course you need the egg wash and breadcrumbs to deep to fry it in however what i'm decided to do is that doing these recipes i'm going to make just slight adjustments to them because even though i want to make the recipes for most of our book i don't want to do the exact same thing that she did because our book was written 20 years ago right so what i'm going to do here's our salt fish that we already have here prepared we're just waiting for the potatoes to cook so what i'm going to do i'm going to get a fork and I'm just going to pull it apart right and what I'm going to add definitely not going to add any salt to this because it's soaked overnight plus clean off all of the salt so even if I don't want to add no salt because just in case everybody knows how selfish they sometimes right so we just um, flaking all of the salt fish so to that, as I said, I'm going to add my own little thing to it. I'm going to add a little bit of scallion and some thyme. Not too much, just a little because as I said, I like seasoned stuff. What I'm also going to add to this, it's instead of using... Hold on guys, I have to shift it a little bit because I can't open my cabinet. So instead of just using the ground black pepper, I'm also going to use some cayenne pepper as well. So those are the little additives that I'm going to put in it. You can or can omit it if you'd like. But I decided I wanted to add some little stuff to it. So I'm going to add some brown black pepper as well. Guys, Matilda said like, oh my god, I was so excited the day I finally bought this. All right, and I love my pink Himalayan salt. Oh! So we're just going to mix that up. Now, as I said, the original recipe doesn't call for the cayenne pepper or the scallion or thyme, but I want to it in mind, so I'm adding it. All right, so we're gonna put this aside and we're just gonna wait for the potatoes to finish cook because our sawfish is ready for the potatoes all right so i love them leave a comment below for all those who know the book that i'm talking about i want to show you the book but i don't know if them will copyright me for it i don't have a clue so i'm just gonna read up about that a little bit before i put the book in one of the videos but does any jamaica know that green book that i'm talking about like seriously i have made so many things from that book over the years of course we never follow the recipe exact but we've always had that book and it's the other day i was just sitting and looking at it and like why don't I actually try to make all of the recipes in this book? You know, like that movie Julia and Julia? Right. But of course, I'm going to put my little spin on all of them. So, again, I'm going to put this down and wait for the potatoes to cook. And then we're coming back and finishing up the recipe. So simple, guys. Alright, loves. So, our potatoes are finished boiling. So, I'm just going to take them out of the pot. Here's the pot. It's piping hot. So I'm simply just going to use a spoon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm taking it out from there. So I'm just adding the potatoes straight to the sawfish. What this will also do, the heat from it will also help to start cook 
or tenderize the scallion a little bit in there and then we're just going to mash everything together all right so what I'm gonna do once I finish mashing it I'm then going to turn on the oil put on the pot with the oil so while the oil is heating because I want the oil to be hot this can start to cool down just a little bit so it's easy for me to handle instead of piping hot as it is right now oh my gosh guys can you imagine I've never actually made this at home I made sawfish filters I've made sawfish everything and I've actually never made this so I kind of like that I'm doing this I'm starting to do things that I never normally did what's going to happen though loves for the recipes that I've already made in the book because like she has sawfish in there she has um sawfish fritters I've already made that on the channel before so I'm not going to repeat those recipes all right so all I'm going to do is to crush the potatoes with the fork of course you can use the potato um masher I have one but me can't bother so I will just use this in the interim and squish the potatoes yay so simple of so so simple all right so let me finish mashing this up and then I'll be right back all right loves now to this I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter And I'm going to go ahead and of course use the heat from the potato to of course melt that butter so you're just moving the butter around in the mixture and the heat from the potato will cause it to melt So we're going to leave this and just allow it to cool just a little bit while we, the oil in the pan heats and then we're going to start looking after our forming them into balls. So we have our mixture there, we have our egg mix here and right here we have breadcrumbs but what I've done I've mixed both our regular breadcrumbs, this one here with panko whole wheat breadcrumbs so I've mixed both of them together as I said doing my own little twist on it and this is it in here all right don't know how it's going to turn out but cross your fingers it should be fine right so all we're going to do once we're ready we are going to form the mixture into balls dip it in the egg wash and then dip it into the breadcrumbs mixture over here and then fry them and that will be it and it's not going to take very long to fry because everything in the mixture is already cooked so you're really just frying it until it's lightly brown and because it's whole wheat you know say kind of brown already so you have to be very mindful of that all right so we're gonna get into this once our oil is hot now while I'm doing that not going to be talking much guys you know how to form balls I'm going to actually be using a little scoop to do mine so I can try to get as even portion as possible and then we're just going to run all through that while we're doing that all right so look at our mixture it is so pretty but let's get into this
guys. Like, oh my gosh. Look at that. And as I said, it does, that's what about four minutes. Four or five minutes in total. So I said you just wanted to get brown. Golden brown. Okay, this one can come out too. But look at that, love. OMG. I can't wait to taste these. All right, love. So I took them out and they're on the sheet and they're soaking up all the excess oil. But when we're finished frying them, we're going to get back and let you know how they taste. So excited. All right, love. So they're all done. Look at that. It's so awesome. Guys, I want to pop piece in my mouth. Oh my God. It is so good, guys. So, so good. So, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please try it out and let me know what you think. All right, loves. Remember to leave me a comment below as well all right see you guys in the next video